Hey guys, hey, it's Simchia. So we've got the stats and skills for the New Year 2019 Step Up Summons, as well as the Happy New Year Summons, which includes Hano Toro, Rukia, and Mairi. And let's get straight into it. So starting off with the New Year 2019 Step Up Summons. So the New Year 2019 Step Up Summons comes both in single and multi-types, and the first pull from both summons is free. From step 2 onward, each step comes with extra bonus items, and step 6 of the multi guarantees you one of the 12 featured 5-star characters, there are 7 steps in total, the steps do not reset, but there is no limit to the amount of times you can use the 7th step. So your typical step up summons. So Ichigo's Quincy powers awaken. Ichigo is a ranged strong attack character with a unique combination of no affiliation attribute and no affiliation killer. All of his attacks have a chance to inflict weaken and he can unlock frenzy and a 5 second debilitator. He can also increase his reduced strong attack cooldown soul trait to minus 14%. That's not all though, once his freeze immunity skill is unlocked, he becomes impervious to being frozen, making him especially useful in any quest with a lot of freeze inducing enemies or hazards. So the EXP and coins and compounds will be doubled during the 2019 step up summons. So these are the rates for the multi. So 150 and the rest seems to be 250. So you get one free multi, three hokus, hoku wheels, a rival brushes, free super editing brush which is really nice, one featured 5 star guaranteed, 80 droplets of each kind as well for step 6, and 3 revival candles and 3 free 4 star power hearts. So the drop rate of the featured 5 star characters is 6% and the other character draw rate at step 7 is 2%. So all up you have an 8% chance of getting a 5 star. Let's go to the actual singles. So 0, 15, 25 for the rest and the same thing. So you get one free summons, skill key, hoku, hoku will, revival candle, free editing brush, so the normal type, and the three star power heart. And let's take a look at this bad boy. So stamina 1065, attack 642, defense 358, focus 344, and SP 794. I think that's the highest in the game at the moment. We're so close to 800. So killer is no affiliation and special all my powers. Ichigo fires an incredibly powerful arrow that causes immense damage and afflicts weaken. Obviously we know his soul trade is. So skills, bruiser 20%, devastation 40, sprinter plus 2 which is nice, frenzy, debilitator plus 5 seconds and freeze immunity. He needs 3 white Ichigo, 4 Iryu, 2 full hollow and 7 Ishins. Hey this pool is actually pretty good. So we got Ichigo, we got the tag team Toshiro, um, Ruruka, Omaira, tag team Yamoto, tag team Shuhei. Well, we are actually Chad in this. I'm surprised we got Chad. Chad is definitely a top tier character, especially in PvP as well. So, out of this list, I don't have the Ichigo, obviously. The Toshiro, the Ruruka, tag team Yamoto, the Shuhei, the. Who else don't I have? Ikaku I don't have, Ginja I don't, Tsukishima I don't, and Uryu don't. So I'm um, 9 out of 12 of characters I do not have. So 3 out of 12 I do have. So this filler is pretty good. Compared to the last year step up summons, it was actually disgusting fillers. And this is much better. But let's move on to the happy new summons. So this one I believe is normal rates and only 3 characters. So Mayuri Kurotsuchi with many planned for the coming year. So Mayuri is a ranged strong attack character and is the first character to have the new human killer ability. That's really interesting. His normal attacks, first and third strong attacks and special move all have a chance to inflict paralysis. So normal, first and third and special. Okay. Which combined with his frenzy and 5 second debilitator skill means he's able to give his enemies a shocking new ease gift. He also functions well as a support character because his second strong attack is a boost the effect of which can be extended by his enhancer skill. So that's really nice. So the flower of the party, Rukia Kuchiki. Rukia is a melee strong attack character with Aranka killer ability. Her strong attack, so her second strong attack surrounds her in a floral vortex, making her a magnificent sight to behold. Her unlockable skills include frenzy and paralysis, immunity, which is really nice, and her stamina recovery soul trait can be increased to plus 25%. So Hanatoro Yamada, Wishing for health, for health and prosperity. So Hanatoro is a also a melee strong attack character with the Aranka Killer ability. His second strong attack is combined heal and attack, 
and his medic skill makes him a useful support character in a variety of situations. He's also equipped with a frenzy skill and a minus 16% decrease damage taken soul trait, giving him a good balance between offense and defense. Sounds really interesting. Hanatro sounds really, really interesting. Sounds like a very good auto character. So first up, we got the Lord Mayuri. Stamina 1053, attack 634, defense 367, focus 351, and SP 778. Really high. Killer is human. I wonder if it's 40% damage to humans or 20. I'm gonna assume it's 40 because there's not much humans either. But special is Happy New Year. So Kojiki Ashisogi Jizo New Year performance caused immense damage and inflicts paralysis. His soul trait is strong attack, reach time minus 12%, which is really good since he has a boost as well. So his skills are Abruzzo 20%, Devastation 40, Enhancer, Frenzy, Debilitator plus 5 seconds, and Sprinter plus 1. So materials, nothing. So these are definitely seasonal characters. So Rukia, new version. So purple, stamina 1046, attack 638. We got defense 370, focus 354, and SP 774. So if it looks like this whole New Year's banner, as well as step up, is all strong attack characters, which kind of sucks. I did want some Nat characters or even hybrids. So Killer is Aranka. Special and New Year's Dance, a beautiful dance whose flowers inflict immense damage to any enemy they hit. Soul Trait, recover 25% stand up between area quests. And she's purple as well, that's really good. I think the only purple one we have is the New Year's Orihime, I think. So skills are Long Reach 20, Frenzy, Sprinter plus 1, Bruiser plus 20, Devastation 40, and Paralysis Immunity. Hanaturo is red, so stamina 1063, attack 636, defense 357, focus 352, and SP 773. Killer is Aranka, special is Shrine, visit Stampede. Somehow Hanaturo ends up riding the charging bunny with Stampede, inflicts immense damage to anything in her path. Soul trait is damage taken by 16%. Skills are long reach 20, frenzy, sprinter plus 1, bruiser 20, devastation 40, and medic. So really interesting that he's red. The thing is we have so much red healers and we also have another red healer with damage taken by 16% who is the Kakao Society in the now. We also have the Swimsuit Nemu who also heals and Isane who is also another red healer. So I think this is the fourth, well technically the fifth healer since we also got the Saint Kaizen who also heals. So this is technically the fifth red healer which is really interesting unless I'm missing another character that I can't really think of at the moment. But so far this looks good. Honestly I thought the field's going to be terrible for the step ups. I think I might drop some orbs for the New Year's as well. I think I'll probably go to step 6 or step 7 for the step ups. Just for now, I want to see what they're going to release after or if there's a round 2 for the New Year's thing as well. But I'll definitely drop orbs for this. Mayuri seems pretty interesting as well. Um, Rookie is nice as well, 25% recovery. And I'll probably definitely want Hanatro since obviously I got to look at gameplay. But the Cacao Society now was pretty terrible in terms of her gameplay and her activation times and her move pool. So I'm hoping this guy is really good as well. Because it seems like he can be a really decent auto character as well. However guys, let me know what you think of these characters. And if you enjoyed this video, like and subscribe for more Bleach Brave Souls content. And enjoy the rest of your day.